Hello, so welcome back. In this class, we are going to be learning how to implement place search functionality in our app. And the place search is actually made possible by Google Places API. Alright, when I say place search, look at what I mean. I want it to be a case that when we click on this bar, pick up location, this nice search bar comes up and I can search for Washington, for instance. I can start for Washington and it will just take me to the particular point where Washington is located all right so this is what we are going to be working on in this particular class and this is the implementation of the place search functionality so guys without much ado let's jump right into it so the first thing we want to do is we want to bring a reference to that particular bar that we have so that when we click on it, it will pop up our search bar, all right? So to do that, we're going to go to our layout file, which if we remember properly, it's include main, all right? So we load this up, go to sources, and this is what we have. We have the layout pickup and we have the pickup location test as well. And we have the one for destination so we are actually going to be referencing these two relative layer and these two relative layer we are made clickable such that when we click on it it will be able to you know execute some commands so let's go back to our main activity and grab a reference of this since so i'm committed to keeping things organized i'm going to say layout I'm going to define relative layout and call this layout pickup. Define another one relative layout. I'll call it layout destination. And we need to also define the text views, okay? So I'm going to say text view pickup location test right so I'll do the same thing for our destination I will call it destination test okay good so the next thing we want to do is to connect these views to the ones we have in our layout file so to do this so when we get to this method where we connected all our controls Okay, I want to keep things a little bit organized. So this is drawer layout. This is toolbar. And this will be for test views. So I'm going to say pick up location test will be equal to text view. Find view by ID resource dot ID dot pick up location test so we need to do the same thing for our destination so we have destination test equal to test view find view by id resource or id destination test so we need to grab the references of our layouts as well all right so let's say layout pickup will be equal to find view by id resource dot id dot layout pickup now let's continue layout destination equal to relative layout find view by id resource dot id dot layout destination all right so the next thing we need to do is to attach click event to our layout so that when we click on it, something happens, all right? So we're going to say layout pickup dot click plus echo to and space. We have this. So we now have a click event wired up for our layout pickup. So we do the same thing for our destination layout as well, all right? The click plus equal to space layout destination click so we now have another click event wired up for layout destination 
And before we proceed, the next thing we need to do will be to activate um, the Google Places API in our Google Developer Console. So to do that, I already have mine open, but this is not the account I use. All right, so I'll load up my Google API console. I'll select my project, over clone. All right, so click on enable API and services. And we need to enable this, this is the one we're looking for. So we hit this, places SDK for Android. So I'm going to enable it. Okay, so it's now enabled. So the next thing we need to do will be to install the Nugget package for Google Places, all right? So let's go to add Nugget packages. So we'll search for Xamarin, Google Play. All right, this is the one we're looking for. So let's go ahead and install this at the package because accept the license and it has been added. So implementing this is quite very straightforward. So we're going to declare a new intent, all right? We say intent, intent equal to new. Okay, let's resolve this. So equal to new place auto complete so we need to resolve this so we'll bring that reference in so let's continue we we'll use an intent builder we'll pass it place auto complete dot mode overlay there are different modes that you can actually use, but this is the, the mode of LA is the one I showed us, you know, when we are starting this class and it's actually the most convenient, all right? So this is an intent builder, so we need to just build it. So as soon as we are done with that, the next thing to do is to start activity for result. Activity for result. We're going to pass it this intent. And we need to add a request code so we're going to use one as our request code so the same thing we did here we need to do it whenever we click the bar for our destination so we'll copy this code here exactly the way it is and paste it in this place and change the request code to two right so that we can be able to differentiate between the one for our pickup location and the one for our destination so the next thing to do is to override on activity result, right? So let's go down, down to the page where we have other overrides. I'm going to say override on activity result, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to say if request code equal to one. So we know that we are talking about the one for pickup location so we're going to check if the result code was okay android dot app dot result dot okay so we need to grab the data that was returned to us and the data needs to come as a place all right so we're going to define a place say var place equal to place autocomplete dot get place see this that's for the contest and our intent data right so that's that the next thing we need to do is to grab the address of the place and we're going to set it to our pickup location test so we're going to say pickup location test dot test equal to place dot name formatted so this is more like the address of the place right so I'm going to convert this to string just to be on the safe side now the next thing to do is to animate to this particular point to this particular place on our map right if we are in Washington and 
we search for a place in New Jersey. We want to animate our map to the place. So we're going to say main map dot animate camera camera update factory dot new lat launch zoom we're gonna pass it the latitude and longitude of the place all right and we set a zoom float of 15 in this way we can actually zoom in appropriately and see what's going on so we need to do the same thing for the request code of two that is when we were handling our destination this same code we're going to just copy this and change this to two and change this to destination test so guys this is all we need to do so the next thing to do is to run the app and ensure that everything works out very well just the way we taught it to so let's run the app I have some errors so whenever you have this kind of error the thing to do is to clean because we added a new um, a new nugget package so let's clean it and build again so let's build again so now the build is successful okay so let's click on this place. So it, our place search were inflated appropriately just the way we expected. So let's search for Washington. It's supposed to auto complete for me, depending on you know your network. Okay, so it's working as expected. And for our destination, let's select somewhere in South Africa, Port Elizabeth. So everything is working as, as expected. So guys, this is how to implement the place search functionality using Google Places. So in the next class, we're going to be looking at how to add filter, you know, to our place search. If you're in US, you just want to search for a place in US. You don't want to be bringing other places from Spain and Germany and Nigeria and all those places, right? We'll be looking at how to implement filter in the next class. So guys,